Welcome to the episode of Locked In. This is going to be a review of the red and white, the bib. Bib short review? I don't know if I'm saying that in the right sequence, but let's get into the review. We're going to be going over fit, features, pricing, and my final thoughts. First off, a quick little note. Red and White is a company that develops right now just bib shorts for cyclists. And they tailor to the endurance athlete. Guys out there putting really big miles on their bikes, centuries, double centuries. They developed a chamois for those long distance cyclists. I reached out to them and they sent me a unit for review. I've had it for quite a while now and I finally got to put an epic ride on the bib shorts to really give them the thorough test. Now to give you a little background, I have ridden these shorts on other occasions, but I just completed a 69 mile ride. You can see it here on Strava wearing these shorts. So I actually can give a real tried and true review of these finally, because I finally put the mileage on them that they actually recommend for these style of shorts. So first off, let's get into the fit. Now the fit on these is actually really, really great. You actually give the company all your measurements that they request on their website and they actually recommend you a size. This takes out all the guesswork when you're trying to buy clothing online. And this is a really big personal touch that I've never seen before. And they were spot on with my fit. Now, as far as features go, these bib shorts, they feature a really wide bib strap, which makes it very, very comfortable and helps to give you added support. I don't really like it when they're really, really thin. They tend to bite into your shoulders a little more when you're trying to get them fully on. These were extremely comfortable. The material they use gives you just a slight bit of compression, not too much. So for those long days in the saddle, you're not gonna feel really constricted. And it's got a great micro dot gripper for the legs and they never slipped on me once. I didn't have to move them around or readjust them no matter how much I was in or out of the saddle, sprinting, cruising, or anything else. These stayed in place the entire day. Now let's get onto the chamois. The chamois is an Italian open cell foam to increase breathability in the chamois. It has three layers of high density foam to keep that shape and support you want no matter the mileage that you're at. And they use antibacterial fabrics. Now on to pricing. These are an expensive bib, so keep this in mind when I'm telling you the price. They are $160 for one set, but hear me out. Anytime you've ever heard me talk to anybody about cycling, I always say you wanna spend the money on the contact points of your bike. That means your shoes, your shorts or bib shorts, gloves if you like them, and your saddle. These are the things that are gonna keep you comfortable when you're out riding, especially longer distance. So the more comfortable you are, the longer you're gonna be able to ride. So these are definitely an investment. I do save these for my long distance days. I don't wear these on the regular because I want to keep them in good condition. So I only wear these when I'm doing something usually around 45 miles plus on these shorts because that's when I really am going to benefit from the better designed chamois for this style of distance. Now on to my final thoughts. These are definitely an investment bib short. They are definitely a high price, but honestly, and I'm not getting paid to say this, totally worth it. And if you like doing centuries or double centuries even, or if that's just a goal you have as a cyclist, make sure to check out their other models because they do tailor to other distances depending on what bib short you actually choose. So if you're one of those athletes, the cost isn't going to be the issue. It's going to be the comfort. And I can definitely say that I'm really, really happy with the bib so far on the mileage that I've ridden it. I hopefully will be able to, to check out their higher mileage bib shorts and plan an epic century hopefully soon and see how those get along for higher mileage. So I hope you like this video. Please make sure to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Give this video a thumbs up. Make sure to turn notifications on so you can see every single video that I post every single week, as well as follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. All the links are in the description below. And thanks for watching another episode of Locked In. Let's get